You are nothing but a rat. Yeah, well at least I'm not a human supremacist. Hashtag end speciesism. Wait, human supremacist? What the f- PETA hasn't been getting much attention lately in the Social Justice Olympics, so they took to Twitter recently to try to make you feel bad about calling someone chicken because it perpetuates oppression and is offensive to animals. Rudish, rudesque, whatever you want to call it. Their tweet asked people to stand up for justice by rejecting supremacist language and provided this helpful chart on how to avoid perpetuating speciesism, an ism that is somehow in both the Cambridge and Merriam-Webster dictionaries. The chart suggested ditching the speciesist language of chicken, rat, snake, and pig in favor of calling someone a coward, snitch, or jerk, or even just flat out suggesting that they're repulsive. Because insulting people and being mean to them is A-OK -okay so long as we do it without hurting an actual chicken's feelings. PETA got ratioed for their list of so-called anti-animal slurs, with at least one vegan pleading for PETA to stop making them look bad. The next day, PETA doubled down and tweeted that anti-animal slurs reinforce and perpetuate harmful animal stereotypes. The group called on Merriam-Webster and Dictionary.com to remove, quote, speciesist insults from definitions for dog, snake, and pig. Unfortunately, that's not how dictionaries work, and removing a definition doesn't mean that the word or meaning magically disappears from human language. Imagination <laughs> land is the best. After the incident, if you can even call it that, PETA included a press release on their website claiming that their posts had become trending topics on Twitter because anti-speciesism is having its moment. The article claimed that people are going woke, realizing that bullying isn't just something that happens between humans, but that our use of language can be used to bully animals, too. It's considered very rude. For anyone looking to learn more about human supremacy and speciesist bullying, PETA has a whole article about it, blaming people's parents for things like thinking of rats or mice as household pests, rather than the long tradition of rodents carrying diseases that have wiped out entire human populations once or twice. Yeah, so about that. The entry also linked to a list of animal-friendly idioms meant to replace old, outdated, and harmful expressions. The list suggested teachers and parents tell their children not to cry over burnt toast, because even milk can be insulting. Other idioms include having pepper in your pants, and grabbing the rose by the thorns, because there's more than one way to peel a potato. Meanwhile, PETA has faced controversy on a nearly yearly basis for euthanizing more than half of the animals they take into their shelters. The numbers were so high in 2015, nearing 80%, that Virginia lawmakers passed a bill to define private animal shelters as a place where the primary mission is to find permanent homes for animals rather than to euthanize them. PETA has tried to combat this by saying that they primarily take in sick or otherwise unadoptable animals, and that their mortality rates are high, just like hospice mortality rates are high. The organization also claims that no-kill shelters are harmful to animals because they increase rates of neglect and abuse. That's it for today's video about people with nothing better to do. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos and check out the links down in the description if you want to help support this channel in other ways. Thanks for tuning in and I will catch you on the next one.